Why did I create the first ever perioperative TEE video podcast? I'm Dr. Andreas Plakis, and today I'm gonna to share the story that inspired this project. Welcome to Tea Time, or also said TEE Time, where we talk about all things perioperative TEE. I'm your host, Dr. Andreas Plakis, and today I'm going to discuss why I even created this podcast in the first place. A little bit about my background is I'm a Vanderbilt-trained cardiac anesthesiologist. I board certifications in anesthesiology, cardiac anesthesiology, and advanced perioperative transesophageal echocardiography. I'm in full-time clinical practice with robust cardiac anesthesia and structural heart experience. And really, I'm a TEE enthusiast by heart. So it led me to create this podcast. And really, my overall mission in this, which I'll explain, is to transform perioperative TEE education. I want to discuss the importance of perioperative TEE. It really helps guide intraoperative decision making. This includes evaluating cardiac surgery success, optimizing hemodynamics, detecting complications, or even in some procedures, uh, actively guiding the procedure. We'll also see that it improves patient outcomes in a variety of different perioperative scenarios. And finally, what we're seeing more and more is the growing demand for TEE. And we see now different licensing examinations, including TEE on their testing for different specialty and subspecialty licensing exams. However, I want to address what I believe to be the problem in current TEE education. Healthcare professionals are very busy, and a lot of the current day TEE sources are long-winded, there's scattered sources of information, and frankly, uninteresting. It's hard to keep people engaged. And probably most importantly about that is they're not clinically relevant. I believe that learning is done best in the setting of how we can use our skills clinically to better take care of patients. Several years ago during my cardiac anesthesia fellowship, I had the experience of trying to prepare for my own cases and realizing that there was no high yield concise source to help me prepare for the use of TE during my cardiac surgery cases. I think we can do better with perioperative TE education. So that leads me to the mission of Tea Time. Well, it's the first of its kind video podcast devoted solely to perioperative TE education. I wanna emphasize that episodes will be concise, high yield, and very engaging. And they'll also be in a video format as TE learning is so visual in the first place. Most importantly, these will be clinically relevant. I want what you learn in these episodes to help you in your cases tomorrow. And they'll follow evidence-based recommendations for TEE practice. The type of people that Tea Time was created for are anesthesiologists, cardiologists, cardiac surgeons, cardiac sonographers, ICU team members in cardiac ICUs, really anyone learning or performing perioperative TEE. As far as the content specifically that we'll be covering, well, if you can imagine a perioperative scenario where TE is used, I plan to cover it. And the structure of the content will be in case-based episodes where we talk about specific cases and what you should know about TEE before your case starts. As you'll see here, each episode will be guided by a clinical question. So today's clinical question is, how will this perioperative TE video podcast help you take better care of your patients? Because we're going to talk about valve repair and replacement. We're going to talk about TE and cabbage surgery, temporary and durable mechanical support, aortic dissections, heart and lung transplants, TE in congenital heart surgery, in various structural heart interventions, also touching on rescue echo and a variety of non-cardiac surgeries such as liver surgery, liver transplants, renal cell carcinomas, major vascular surgeries. We are going to touch on so much more than this as well. Now, what tea time is not. These podcasts will not be lengthy. They won't be ultrasound physics lectures, and they won't discuss very elementary concepts. I'd expect that most people watching would know the 20 basic TEE views as we're not going to cover small elementary concepts like that or basic knobology. I want to get into clinically relevant material that's going to help you in your cases. Looking forward, we're only seeing a growing role of perioperative TEE in our operating rooms. I want to encourage you, hit the subscribe or follow button and join me on this journey of mastering perioperative TEE. As far as the next episode that we'll get into, it will be when to use TEE perioperatively. Here are our references. Thanks again for joining. We'll see you guys next time.